Hey guys, I'm back at it again with a fun video. Today's video is going to be my June wrap up. I'm going to tell you everything I read and loved and visited in the month of June. Let's do it. So in the month of June, I read a ton. I'm not sure exactly how many books I read, but it was enough for me to be personally quite impressed. I have really slowed down in my reading since I started college two years ago. And now it's like, oh, she's got free time and I've been reading a lot. So June was the first month in several months, if not several years, that I broke 10 books. So I'm really, really proud and really excited. This kind of renewed my interest and my goals and I cannot wait to get further into July. I am not doing it as well in July. But we also kind of picked up in a weird spot, you know, it was like holidays and like, I don't know. So, first books that I read during the month of June were books one through five of the Percy Jackson series. And that's the whole series, that's, that's it, to its completion by Rick Riordan. Riordan? Rick. Rick. He's Rick to me. So, Rick should be my buddy because I read a lot of his books in the month of June. And if you've watched my other videos from this past month you will know that so read that whole series for the first time since I read it when I was like 12 and I loved it so much more this time around than I did the first time it was just so much more like expressive and fun and there was something like I don't know it just felt good and it wasn't like the nostalgia that got me because sometimes I'll read things and I'll mention one later that I read and I wasn't as wild by it as I used to be, but it really hit home and I really loved it. It just, man, Rick, he does such a good job. So the next books, also by Rick, sponsor me please, um, were the first three books in the Heroes of Olympus series, which follows Percy Jackson and Annabeth, my, my faves, but also Jason Grace and all of the others and like Nico um I can't remember his last name but whatever we follow those kids and now they're older and stronger and wiser and they like switch places and like things just happen so read those really loved it honestly like I didn't love it as much as the Percy Jackson Central series but I won't lie to you and say that I didn't love it, so I got more out of it from a reading standpoint. I got more excitement, it was more mature, there was a lot more depth to the plotline, there were more kind of thought-provoking scenes, and I really appreciated that. What I didn't love is that you kind of know how it's going to play out, like with any other book, you just... You know, I knew that they were going to triumph. I didn't realize how many, like, fun little twists there were going to be, but there was a lot more. There was a lot of that, like, awkward teenage love, which is kind of sweet. I don't know. I think that if you were actually 12 and were reading these books about 15, 16, 17-year-olds and their adventures, and yeah, it'd be, like, wicked. Like, that's awesome. I finished the first three. I enjoyed them. They were good. I didn't love them as much as Percy Jackson, but I loved them in a new different way. It was the first time I'd ever read these, so I got a lot more joy from experiencing them from the first for the first time. And I definitely felt like the characters had matured well. It wasn't perfect and they weren't as awe-inspiring as Percy Jackson, but I really like our new characters that we're getting to see. I really like the the adventures and the journeys. I like how like condescending and convoluted the, the path that they take is. It's just, it's good. It's interesting. There's a lot to think about. And the books are significantly longer, which I really appreciate because he, Mr. Rick, is growing his write, writing for his audience. So we start with Percy Jackson. The first book is maybe 200 pages and now we're up to like a four plus, 400 plus page book with way more intensity and way more plot intricacies, I really appreciated it. And then, for the last and final Rick Riordan, Rick, 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 
The last book I read by Uncle Rick was Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer, and um, I liked it. I didn't love it. I didn't feel any kind of emotional connection. I think that when I was reading it the whole time, I'm like, this is not as good. This is not as good, and I don't like it as much. I knew I didn't like it as much, so I kind of felt bad going into it. I'm like, yeah, this isn't what I want. But I finished it. The first book was good. I plan on picking up the next one. I just don't know if this is going to be a series that I ever revisit. But the first book was, I gave it like a three and a half, which is, like, it's okay. Um, I think that there will definitely be some people who enjoy it more than others, and that's that's fine. So everybody's reading Lord of Shadows right now, right? So I'm way behind. I stopped reading Cassandra Clare's books, I think somewhere in the middle of City of Fallen Angels, which is the fourth book. So I loved the first three books, and I fell off the wagon. So I'm revisiting the whole series. I don't remember much, so I started with book one, and I devoured it, so that was City of Bones, and then I read City of Ashes, which was just as good, if not a little bit better, we've got a little more tension, and like, Simon, and like, oh. and then I read City of Glass, and that was good, so I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and right now I am halfway through City of Fallen Angels, so, and I did start this in June, so I'm gonna say that, like, I started it, and I'm enjoying them, I'm having a good time reading, I missed the characters, I missed the world. Then later in the month, I read two more books, and these are the last books that I read during the month of June, and I'm so excited to be continuing on into July, um, when VidCon and everything went down, and John Green announced his next book, which comes out not too far from now. I think it's like October, maybe? But he announced that he was releasing a new book. I had known for a while because, you know, he had all the boxes in the background of his videos and all that stuff. But I had no idea how soon or what it was going to be. Because he's releasing a new book, I decided to read one of his old books. So I read Paper Towns. I love it just as much now as I did the first time I read it. It's one of my favorite books, which you probably would never guess. People don't really give it a whole lot of credit. They're like, oh, it's about it's about a guy who loves a girl who doesn't really love him back. And, like, she runs away. And, oh my gosh. It's so much more. And it's so good. So good. So, I reread that. I definitely give it a four and a half. It's not a five star book. It's not as, like emotionally entrancing as, say, The Fault in Our Stars, but that's just because The Fault in Our Stars just kind of hurts my heart a little bit, um, but I loved it. I'm really glad I revisited. I'm really glad I read it because I can't wait. I'm gonna pre-order his book. I hope to be one of the 200,000 people who will be getting signed copies. And last but not least, a book that you guys probably won't count for much. I reread one of my favorite children's books of all time, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein, and I, I literally just turned this back into the library yesterday. I forgot to keep it. All my books I read as ebooks um, for my library this month, which was a huge change. The only ones that I've been doing hard covers are is actually the only one I have read so far that was actually a physical book. Is City of Fallen Angels, and I just kind of forgot and returned it, even though I didn't mean to. But it's fine. So, if you don't know, Shel Silverstein is like a poet slash storyteller. I'd call him a poet. He appeals to really young kids and really old kids, and I just love his stuff so much. My mom and I used to lay in bed at night, and he, she would read me The Giving Tree. It's just that good. So did that very excited um loved it it made me tingly inside i felt just as lovey-dovey about it now as i did when i last read it which i was probably six or seven so it's been a really long time but i'm glad i revisited so in the month of june i read five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 books. I'm so proud. So, that's it for this video. I am going to wrap it up now. I thought, but thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around. Check me out later because I'm going to be posting some other fun stuff, including my July reading list. So, 